So what do we have going on here? Has one of the new Romulan ships cloaked itself and sat down on the Martian soil? No, folks, uh, that's not what's going on here, and I don't think that's the spacecraft indention. It is the result of artificiality, though, and look right here. I believe this may be another air cycle. And where there's air cycles, and these are operated by humans, there's usually humans around, and I believe there he is right there. Now, if you're a first-time viewer of one of my productions, you're probably thinking, oh, this guy's just bat crap crazy. Well, I assure you, I'm more than just that. So stay tuned while I build my case, okay? Okay, what we're doing here is adding significant contrast to this. Now, one thing that I can say for certain is that object on the left is artificial. If you can't handle that, don't watch this video. And that does look like a man walking back towards it carrying something in his left hand. Maybe. Now, I believe these are storage bunkers 10 to 15 feet high. And what's odd is the opening, the entrance, is on the very top. So let's put a contrast filter on this whole image this time. And do you have to spank certain people to get them to realize that objects collected in a rectangular field like this, that's not normal unless people are around. People do that. Jeez, man. Come on. Quit living in the fantasy world. There's artificial stuff going on all over this place. Humans are involved here. The rover Curiosity didn't do this. It's not that good of a robot. Now here's an image from that same day from the Mars hand lens imager. Notice the way the terrain rises back there and then suddenly drops off. We'll bring this back up later. Now, here's another Mars hand lens image of that same area, but 16 minutes later. So, guess what we're doing here? There's the air cycle. Where's the human? A top and bottom comparison of the two images Remember, it's a slightly different angle, which is good for me because I was able to view this in 3D, but that's where this person should be, if it is a person, which tells me it may be a person. He may have been walking, and he continued to walk. Now, as for the size-to-distance correlation, well, the rover tracks were about 16 inches across the wheels, and this is a pair of their tracks. And you may think, well, there's no way that there's a far enough distance between that and here. But yes, there probably is. Remember this drop-off right here? What we're not seeing in 2D pictures is elevation changes, which often equals an additional distance. Now, I took these two images and looked at this in true 3D, which I will try to replicate for you later. And well, Hey, what's up with that? Are we just going to ignore things like that? So I'll approximate the depth of field for you. Remember, I did see this in three dimensions, so I'm not making this up. I'm not just guessing. That area down there is quite a bit further away than what you would think in 2D. So I've been working with a friend named David Gannett who's been teaching me 3D, and we're going to be bringing this to you pretty soon. So we won't have to make swag so much, scientific wild-ass guesses. I mean, look at that. Come on. What's up with that? Oh my god, these are rocks!